I feel like I definitely need to work on my skills with filming myself. Or at least I can get friends so I can have a real conversation and not be super awkward. But it comes down to uh, see how good my editing skills are, I guess. <laughs> see if I can make this video actually tolerable. Hey everyone, so I wanted to take this moment to explain that part of the reason I decided to start this vlog is actually because I have really bad social anxiety. So that takes kind of the form in that I have a hard time speaking and like I don't like the sound of my own voice basically. So I just never really feel very comfortable with like public speaking and being center of attention, which in my industry, you kind of have to be uh, confident. <laughs> so, sorry. Uh, so as a chef, basically, a lot of what you do when interviewing or staging for places is really how confident you are with walking in and just doing your thing. And although I've got a ton of talent, the thing that I've struggled with the most has always been just being confident and not putting myself down when interviewing for places. So I decided that as a form of self-development, I would start recording these vlogs and also I wanted to share with the home cooks how to utilize actual professional skills in a home environment and elevate your own cooking. Not to mention most fine dining cooking is no different than your home cook. It's just technique and using more butter or more salt basically or improving your knife skills. So I hope to share that with you guys and I hope you enjoy. Stay tuned. So I used to hike a lot more a few years back. Decided that starting today basically I'm going to start doing it a little bit more often. So I often spend my days off hanging out around my wife's work so I can go to lunch with her and spend some time with her since our days off don't really ever coordinate the downside of working in a restaurant industry. <coughs> so figured today's a good chance to get out, uh, check out a hiking trail by her work that I've never been to before. So, figured. I do say figured a lot. I feel like that's my version of home. But, that too. <laughs> so yeah, I'm definitely working on trying to improve my speech capabilities and being able to be more comfortable being on camera. Definitely don't hate anything about myself. <laughs> Uh, so I was wondering what you guys like to do in your free time. Do you enjoy hiking and if so, where? So go ahead and comment below. Let me know what you like to do and basically keep yourselves active or at least from going insane. So yeah, definitely comment below. Let's get a conversation generated. I feel like I definitely need to work on my skills with filming myself. Or at least I need to get friends so I can have a real conversation and not be super awkward. But it comes down to uh, see how good my editing skills are, I guess. <laughs> see if I can make this video actually tolerable.
I also feel like the wind in the area is going to make the audio quality horrible on this. But, never know. And we'll see how it turns out. Because, like I said, this is something I need to work on and this is how I've decided to challenge myself. This is my YouTube challenge. <laughs> to actually put myself out there and force myself to become more comfortable talking and just using words. Also, I'm not sure how many of you do live video uh, footage or film yourself basically, but I realized the most uncomfortable part for me isn't even talking to the camera itself, but rather how many random pedestrians and hikers are around. Because I feel like everyone's super judgmental of it, especially if they don't hear you talking, just see you talking to yourself. But I do suppose that YouTubers who have been doing it for years have the same kind of self-consciousness. Because I've noticed in some of the videos I've watched recently, YouTubers basically commenting on the fact that everyone's staring at them and that it makes them uncomfortable. <laughs> Not because it's like a fame thing, but because it's people that don't know them and are just staring at them at basically doing the why the hell are you recording yourself. But, yeah, so that's definitely one of the things I'm working on and trying to be more comfortable with is just being myself and not feeling judged so that I can be more confident in every aspect of my life. So, kind of a Hail Mary thing of trying to improve my self-confidence and outlook on my own self before 2020. If not, we'll be awkward together. I just made it down the mountain, so I'm going to probably finish off this video, but <clears throat> if you liked what it was and the audio quality wasn't that horrible, go ahead and hit the like button, and go ahead and hit the subscribe button, as well as the bell to get notifications whenever I post, and if you feel the holiday season coming upon you, go ahead and hit share, and share this to all your friends, so that they can endure the same torture you did. And quick side note, first cooking video should be going up soon and it will be featuring basically choosing your home knives and how not to spend a thousand dollars on knives. Uh, and I'm going to throw in some information and resources in there to help you learn how to handle, treat, and basically preserve your knives so that your cheap home knives are just as efficient and work just as well as the professional chef knives and I'll also do a knife roll reveal and show you guys my knives and what I personally use. So stay tuned and I'll check in with you later. Thank you for watching. Go ahead and hit the thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell to get notifications whenever I post. And follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Links are down below. Keep watching.